If you're in a relationship with a narcissist or ever have been in a relationship with a narcissist, then you know that it's near impossible to beat them at their game. The reality is that the narcissist always seems to get the upper hand. And the reasons for this is that one, they don't care for you as much as you care for them. Two, they've been using these toxic tactics to manipulate and control others for a very long time. And three, they get off on creating drama, conflict, and chaos. I'm Lisa Blonde, therapist, author, and life coach. And in today's video, I will give you five of the best ways to win at the narcissist's game. And at the end of this video, I will explain why even the most highly intelligent people get outplayed by a narcissist. If you like this video, please like and leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate every single one of you that takes a moment to subscribe to my channel today. Number one, obviously the best and most effective way to win at the narcissist's game is simply to remove yourself from the game. Cut off their supply and never ever reopen that door. Not even a crack. No contact means no longer seeing them, speaking to them, not answering calls, texts, or emails. No contact through social media, friends, family, nothing. And this might seem a little harsh or even immature, but if you've been manipulated emotionally by a narcissist, then no contact is by far the safest, most effective strategy you could possibly employ. And believe me, they will not like it because it takes away their sense of control over you. Even if the narcissist doesn't want to be in a relationship with you, they still want to know that they could get you back if they wanted to, or that they can still extract services and resources from you if needed. They also like to keep you around for continued supply. And no matter how poorly the relationship ended, they often love keeping exes around as evidence that they're not the problem or a bad person. So if you cut them off, they will often try to get you back or at least get back in your good books. They may beg you to give them another chance, apologize, promise to change, go to therapy. They may try to get through to you um, through friends or family members. They might show up at places they know you'll be and accidentally run into you while, you know, looking their absolute best and being on their best behavior. Or if being nice doesn't work, they may threaten you, stalk you, or find other ways to mess with your mind and hijack you and take you hostage emotionally. The exception to this is if you've completely exposed them and they know that you know who they really are and you're no longer buying into any of their BS. In this case, you can expect a full-on smear campaign where they go to your friends, family, uh, your workplace, trying to convince everyone that you're a problem, making things up to prove that you are a horrible person and that everyone should stop associating with you. Number two, if for some reason you can't go no contact, then you'll need to learn to be like a robot around them completely calm and unresponsive to their attempts to create conflict and get an emotional rise out of you. Now, this is a lot easier said than done because remember, the narcissist has already mentally and emotionally mapped you out. They know all of your buttons and they will not hesitate to push, push, push until they get that emotional reaction they're looking for. And as soon as you react, it's mission accomplished. When the narcissist accuses, insults, demeans, or tries to confuse you, they're really just trying to orchestrate drama, conflict, and chaos. They're stirring up your emotions, and any strong emotional reaction on your part gives them a sense of satisfaction and power. They feel safer knowing that they can manipulate your emotional state because when they're in charge of your emotions, they can get whatever it is that they want from you. So by simply not reacting and remaining calm, they're not getting what they want and they won't like this 
at all. So as they're going off on you, just stand there with your best poker face and see if you can observe their predictable behaviors with genuine curiosity. Like, wow, I wonder what it must be like to have to behave in these absurd ways in order to feel like they can survive in this world. Try to internally label the various tactics that they are using. Use your inside voice. Don't bother calling them out on all their projection, blame shifting, gaslighting or whatever, because this just lets them know that you're engaging. End the interaction as quickly as possible. And if you absolutely need to communicate with a narcissist, use the tips in the video linked above. Number three, set and enforce clear boundaries. Narcissists are notorious for violating and not respecting boundaries. They just can't accept letting you have any control, not even over yourself, and certainly not over what they can or cannot do. Think about it. Setting a boundary with someone is you taking control over what behaviors you are willing to accept um, and how you're willing to allow yourself to be treated by others. Setting boundaries with someone is you dictating at least some of the rules of engagement for the relationship. So even if they agree to your boundaries, breaching those boundaries will be like a game to them. At first, it might just be stepping a little toe over the line to see if you're going to do anything. And what you have to realize is that setting the boundary with a narcissist is the easy part. It's enforcing them that's next to impossible because they perceive your boundaries as offensive, as a violation of their rights. And you can expect them to constantly push your boundaries and to behave very badly when you enforce your boundaries. Number four, find points of agreement. The narcissist uses mind games and manipulation tactics to achieve a goal. Everything they do has a purpose. So when they accuse you of something, when they're insulting you, trying to manipulate and confuse you, like I said earlier, they're looking and expecting an emotional reaction from you. So the next time the narcissist attacks, they means, insults, instead of getting upset or trying to defend against their ridiculous statements and efforts to upset you, simply try agreeing with them. For example, if they say you're the worst cook ever and the meal you prepared for them is terrible, then you might say something like, yeah, you might be right about that. I think I have cooked better meals. Agreement might not always be appropriate depending on the situation, so use your judgment. But the idea here is that by agreeing with the narcissist, you're confusing them by not giving them a defense or an emotional reaction that they are trying to elicit. If you can remember that whatever the narcissist is insulting you about is not actually the problem, this is just the narcissist trying to get a rise out of you, then you can start responding more wisely and saving yourself a ton of energy and frustration. And when you do this, you should expect the narcissist to double down and insult you even further. Um, they'll get more cruel, more personal, and at this time, you can either try to continue agreeing with them to see how they'll respond, or you can go back to tip number two, which is to remain completely calm and unresponsive, leaving the conversation as quickly as possible. Number five, don't take any of the bait. Once the narcissist is in the mood to orchestrate conflict or drama, everything coming your way is bait. Whether they are poking at your self-worth, being dismissive, or making you feel mis misunderstood so you start desperately trying to defend and explain yourself, it doesn't matter. It's all with the same goal in mind. For you to feel inferior, flawed, ashamed, rejected, insecure, just bad. And once the narcissist has knocked you down, they feel so much better. So when they get upset and start throwing a bunch of toxic tactics your way, don't take that bait and don't bait them either. There is no reasoning with a narcissist, especially when they are in that mood and any engagement on your part is going to be enough for them to keep trying to drag you down that slippery slope. 
So just stay cool and observe what happens when you don't engage. What you'll notice is that the narcissist frantically changes their tactics, just trying harder and harder to get you to bite. As you can see, there's a pretty obvious theme when it comes to narcissists. And that is that at the root of everything the narcissist says or does is the need for control. Narcissists are control freaks. So the best way to outsmart a narcissist is by cutting them off completely. And if you can't do that, then I suggest that you start practicing your poker face and make sure your body language is a close match because the narcissist is a master at reading you and they know when they're hitting your buttons. You may feel the need to defend yourself or maybe you'll feel naturally guilty or fearful, but do everything in your power not to show it, not even at that micro level, because again, they can read you. I realize that this is so much easier said than done and I also know that the narcissist isn't afraid of getting dirty. They will deliver low blows. They will push and poke and do whatever it takes to get that reaction out of you because that's how they confirm that they are still in control. As promised, the reasons that even the most intelligent people can't win at the narcissist game is because first, the narcissist has the element of surprise. The victim isn't expecting their attacks. Second, the narcissist quickly hijacks your attachment system through the trauma bonding process, which you can learn more about by clicking on the link above. And lastly, they know exactly how to manipulate your emotions. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. I love learning more about your experiences with narcissists.